Now the book very kindly provides us with these reduction formulas for powers of trig functions, which is very nice. It spares us the tedium of doing what we just did. <laughs> so the one we just did was similar to one of these ones. It would have been a cotangent one, right? So this is just tedious, tedious work. So it's helpful if we have a reduction formula to make things go better for us. As a matter of fact, there should be a sixth one for cotangent. And so I'll just put it right there. So there's a sixth one. Um, so sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant. The cotangent one is actually very similar to the tangent one. It's just that it's negative in front right here. Okay, so let's prove that these reduction formulas work by using our trig strategy. So we have sine cubed dx. Now, for that strategy, we'd use strategy number one back on the previous page where it had all the sine strategies written out, sine and cosine strategies. So we rewrite sine cubed of x dx as the integral of sine squared of x times sine of x dx. And we do that so that we can now rewrite with Pythagorean theorem sine squared as 1 minus cosine squared. Got to love those Pythagorean identities. So it's 1 minus cosine squared of x times sine of x dx. Okay, so now u would be equal to cosine and du is negative sine of x dx. So negative du would be sine of x, which is this piece right here. So then I can rewrite my integral as negative integral of one minus u squared du. Well, that's an easy integral to do, right? Let me rewrite it because it's a little strange negative out in front. So negative one positive u squared. So it's u squared minus one du. Simple as that, right? If you distribute that negative. And that would be one third u cubed minus u plus c, which is one third cosine cubed x minus cosine of x plus c. Okay, so with the method from before, from a few pages ago, that's the answer. Now let's use the reduction formula. So the reduction formula is number one above. So if I look at these ones, it's right here, number one. And this one was number one on a previous page. Okay, so number one above says that if you have the integral of sine cubed of x dx, you can rewrite that as, let me see if I can get it all on here, negative sine to the n minus one. Well, look at n. n is right there, right? So n is three for us. So then you take n minus one, which would be three, take away one, which would be two x times cosine of x over n, which is three, plus, and then n minus one, which is two, n, which is three, integral sine and sine to the n minus two. So three take away two is one of x dx. Okay, but we know what the integral of sine to the one power is. Sine to the one power is sine. So this would be negative one third. I'm just going to pull that third out in front. Sine squared x cosine x plus two thirds. The integral of sine is negative cosine. So I'm going to make that a minus cosine of x plus c. And you're done. Boy, do those reduction formulas get us out of a whole bunch of tedium. <laughs> so I wrote up above. Okay, now you might be thinking, well, those aren't the same thing. Oh, but they are, right? And it's because of this bit right here. If you look at this, sine squared. Sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So if you rewrote it, it would be negative 1 third times 1 minus cosine squared of x times cosine of x minus 2 thirds cosine of x plus c. 
So then if I distribute that, that's negative one third plus one third, oh, negative one third cosine x. Sorry, I lost my cosine x. Negative one third cosine x, and then plus one third cosine cubed of x. Uh, cosine squared times cosine makes cosine cubed. And then minus two thirds cosine of x plus c. Oh, look at that. Minus one third cosine x minus two thirds cosine x <laughs> makes one third cosine cubed x minus one cosine x plus c, which is the same, right? They're going to get you the same answer. Now, it might not look the same when you first do it, right? So the purple one up here and the black one down here do not look the same. Uh, but if you manipulate it, they are the same, right? They actually do, it actually does work, believe it or not. And the reduction formulas, if you're allowed to use them, is great, right? They're wonderful because they get you out of having to do all sorts of heavy lifting. So let's use that reduction formula again, but now for tangent. So we're going to use rule number three right there. Let me try to keep it on the page, at least for the first step. Okay, so tangent of 6. Now notice n is 6 for us right here. Okay, so n is 6. So um, actually, let me try to, I'll, I'll try to do this in color coding to help you guys. Okay, so according to this rule, I then say, oh, oh and there's a 20 out in front of the whole thing. Oh, so we're just going to put 20 in front of the whole thing. So it's 20 times. All right, now I say Subtract 1 from that power. So tangent, 6 minus 1 is 5th over 6 minus 1 is 5. Minus integral tangent n minus 2. So that would be tangent to the 4th of x dx. All right, now we're just going to do it again. Look, now n is 4, right? There you see it right there? So now we'll do it again. So we'll say, okay, that's, and you still got the 20, and you still have the tangent to the fifth of x over 5 minus, and now we're going to apply that rule. So that would be tangent to the 3 of x over 3, because we subtract 1 from the power, right? Still the same rule, minus the integral of tangent squared of x dx. Okay, so again, now n is 2, so we'll use it again. So this will be 20 tangent to the fifth of x, oops, sorry, that's off screen now, over 5 minus, and then I have a tangent, oh, it's minus all of this, my, I'm sorry, it's minus all of that, because all of that is substituting for tangent to the fourth. So then minus tangent cubed of x over 3 minus, and now we're going to nest another one inside. So this whole thing is going to turn into tangent of x over 1, because 2 take away 1 is 1, minus the integral of, and then it's tangent to the 2 take away 2, but that's to the 0 power. And anything to the 0 power is 1. So if I wrote tangent to the 0 of x, that's silly, because that's 1, <laughs> right? dx. So that finishes that parentheses, that finishes that parentheses, and that finishes off the big bracket. All right, so let's do this. So this is 20 tangent to the fifth of x over 5 minus parentheses tangent to the third of x over 3 minus tangent of x minus, and the integral of 1 with respect to x, I should have done this in like purple, is 1. <laughs> Right? So that closes that parentheses, that closes this parentheses, and that closes that bracket. So it's just repeated applications of the reduction formula. So then all we have to do is kind of distribute our negatives and we're golden. So this is 20 
tangent to the fifth of x over five, and I'm gonna get rid of all these parentheses. So minus a tangent cubed x over three, minus a minus makes plus tangent of x, minus a minus a minus one, so minus 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 makes minus, oh no, I, I messed up. It's the integral of one, which is x. I'm, I was just losing my brain. Sorry about that. There we go. So minus a um, negative x. So here's a negative x here. This negative will make it positive, and this negative will turn it negative. So it's minus x plus c. We'll finally get our plus c. We should have done plus c right there, actually, because we have no more integrals at that point. Amazing, isn't it? And then if you want to, you can distribute 20 to all of it. So it'd be 4 tangent to the fifth of x minus eh, 20 over three tangent to the third of x, that's not gonna reduce, plus 20 tangent of x minus 20x plus c. Either one of these will work. But think of all the tedium you're getting out of. Yes, you have to be careful. Um, which I unfortunately was not. You know, you have to make sure you take your integral and you have to keep your parentheses nested inside each other and be sure you distribute your negatives properly and so on. But as long as you do that, then the formulas are doing all the real work for you, which is very nice. Way easier than trying to do it by hand with like integration by parts or something like that, or even those other methods we learned previously in this section.